using the frequency distribution table, find the sample mean, variance, and standard deviation. So as you know, the frequency distribution table doesn't have each single data set. Therefore, we, we don't know what exact data are. It means we need to find midpoint and using midpoint represent each class data set. How to find the midpoint? So like last time we discussed, midpoint means the mean of each class lower bound and upper bound, right? So in this case, you combine 7 plus 18 and divide by 2, then you will get 12.5, that's the midpoint of the first, first blank. Okay, let's pause this video for a second and try to all other classes midpoint and return this video. After calculating all the midpoint, those are midpoint value, so 24.5, 36.5, 48.5, and 60.5, and 72.5, and 74.5, and total frequency become 50. So, as we discussed before, the reason we need a midpoint. Based on this frequency dis distribution table, we cannot realize actual data. Therefore, using midpoint value, even though that's not real data value, just to symbolize each data set. So, it looks like uh, the previous uh, question, this one. So, x value, so we have x value here and frequency here, right? So, we can do the same step using the midpoint, treat as our x value. So, m times f, which means the 12.5 appears 6 times. So, this blank must be 12.5 times 6. If you do so, you will get 75. Okay, same step. Please pause this video and calculate all other m times f value and then get back, get back to this video. If you calculate that, uh, you will earn those values and total become 2069. Therefore, uh, using these two columns, you can find the mean value. So mean x bar equal to 2069 divided by 50. That's the 40, 41.38. Okay, now let's find out the variance and the standard deviation. The biggest difference between the variance and the standard deviation or similarity, the standard deviation is square root of the variance. So before we know that s equal to square root n times sigma x squared times f minus x sigma x times f square over n times m minus 1, right? So in this case, just without square root, there will be variance s. So s square means n times sigma x square times f minus sigma x times f square over n m minus 1. Okay. So anyway, we need to find m square times f on third column first before finding the variance and the standard deviation. Okay, so the first blank, this blank will be 12.5 square times 6. That's that's the answer for that blank. So 12.5 square times 6, that is the 
okay so same way please find those value and get, get back to this feed yeah those value will be uh, each column of m squared times f and total become 104016.5 good okay then let's find out variance first so based on this s square equal to 50 times 104016.5 minus 2069 square over 50 times 49. If we calculate it, you will get 375.5363. Therefore, the standard deviation S equal to square root 375.5363. Then it's going to be 19.5. Three seven eight eight. Okay. 